Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joe Donlan and I'm Erica Sargent. For the first time, we're hearing explicit details about what happened in Abby Williams and Libby German's final moments. The two girls murdered in Delphi, Indiana. Opening statements began in the trial of the man accused of killing them and our Sabrina Franza is covering every minute of it. She's here now with what was an emotional day in court today. It was prosecutors detailed some of the final moments between teens Abby Williams and Libby German telling jurors that the man standing trial kidnapped them quote had his way with them before killing them. The defense tried to poke holes in that argument and we want to warn you some of these details are disturbing. In Delphi, Indiana, a city of 3000 people, 12 jurors and four alternates hear the case against one man, Richard Allen, the man accused of killing best friends Abby Williams and Libby German, who went for a hike in 2017 and never returned. The bodies of the 13 and 14 year old girls were found the next day. Years later, in October 2022, police arrested and charged Allen, a pharmacy technician. Prosecution began their opening statement detailing the day of the hike, a quote, nice summer day in the middle of winter. The state says Libby posted photos on this bridge with Abby, took this video before her phone cut off. The next day, the prosecution says the girls were discovered covered in blood with their throats cut, claiming Allen forced them at gunpoint to walk along the creek to take advantage of them before he was interrupted and killed them. Prosecutors say Libby was undressed when she was found. Abby had Libby's sweatshirt on and no jeans. The rest of their clothes, they say, were found in a creek. Richard Allen's defense maintains Allen's innocence. His team claims evidence was lost, that Allen was never on the trail at the same time as the girls. Both sides mentioned evidence they plan to show the jury over the course of the next few weeks, including photos of the scene, video from Libby's phone, the unspent shell casing found next to their bodies, and the alleged confessions made by Allen. Libby's grandmother took the stand today. She cried as she remembered her final conversation with her granddaughter. After Libby asked to go to the trail and her grandmother suggested a jacket, Libby said, Grandma, it will be okay. Later, Abby's father testified, saying Abby called to ask him to pick them up that day. He was a few minutes late and tried calling her. She never answered. Joe, Erica. Uh, it's so hard to hear these details. It's incredible. Sabrina, thanks.